Biari no Chime, welcome to the Naut channel. If this is your first time seeing this video series, I recommend you check out this channel and check out the videos in the season before this one, season one, um, or else you might be a little bit lost for this level. So this level is assuming that you saw uh, the previous videos in this video series. We're learning Huasteca Nahuatl variety, and we're going to continue on with a more intermediate level from what we've learned before. So today we're going to learn some new actions, and then we'll get into the endings that tell you location of places. Our first new word is kawa. Kawa. And like a dictionary would tell you, it tells you here nik, which tells you that it's transitive. So that means ni means I, and k means it. So I could say nik kawa. Nik kawa, or nik kawa, once you smoothen it out. Nik kawa means I leave it. I leave it. Now this is not leaving like leaving a place. This is leaving like leaving an item or leaving a person. Or you could leave yourself. When that in that case, it would be you leave yourself behind or you stay behind. Um, but so this would not be at, like I leave my house. That would be kisa because that's exiting. Kawa is to leave something behind. So kind of like in Home Alone, they left him. Be they leave him behind, right? So we'll say. Inihuantin, meaning they, kikawa. Inihuantin, kikawa, konetl. They leave the child. Inihuantin, kikawa, konetl. They leave the child. Then we have a class two, which tells us it's class two. So that means when we say it past tense, we're going to take out the a. So kawa will become kao. Add ki, which tells you it's past tense. Kikau ki. But then since you can't pronounce that, we'll pronounce it kikahki. Kikahki, which means he left it or she left it. Kikahki. You could say it with the reflexive like ni mokawa, which means now I leave myself behind. So if you go to the Huasteca, someone might ask you, kanin ti mokawa, meaning where are you staying? In other words, where are you leaving yourself behind? Uh, but in, it's implied uh, where are you staying, like location. And then if you're leaving someone, like you left someone, kikawa, kikahki, he left him. Kalaki. Originally, aki just means to enter. And then kal referring to kali, meaning a house or a structure, entering a house or a structure. But now they're just fused into, now they're just fused into one word in the Huasteca. And we have kalaki. Now this tells us it's ni, which means that it's only going to be one, uh, it's going to be you're just going to have the subjects. There's no object here. So it's not nik. Not nik kalaki. So it's just I enter. Or you enter. Or they enter. But you're not doing an action to any object or to anyone. So this is just intransitive. Ni kalaki. I enter. So ni kalaki. Right? Not nik kalaki. Just ni kalaki. I enter. Ti kalaki. You enter. Kalaki. She enters. Class two, so past tense would be kalahki. He entered. Kalahki. Kaki. To hear something. Nihkaki. I hear it. So this is transitive. Because you have to hear something. It's not just hearing in general. So you have to hear something. So nikkaki. I hear it. Nihkaki totot. I hear a bird. Nihkaki chichi. I hear a dog. Nimitskaki. I hear you. Nimitskaki. Nimitskaki. Can I? Shinechkaki. Listen to me. Shinechkaki. That's the command. Shinechkaki. Listen to me. But all these have kaki to hear. To hear something. Sesekwi. Sesekwi. So sek refers to something cold. That's the root that means something cold. Sek. Sesek is just another way of saying it. Sesek is just ex reduplicated. Sesek. And then we is like you, you've be grabbed it. You've become it. Um, so you've become cold. So ni sesekwi. I am cold. Ti sesekwi. You are cold. Sesekwi. She's cold. This is not cold like this item is cold. Okay, if I have a cold cup of glass, I can't say sesekwi. Like it's cold. Okay, uh, that would just be sesek. Sesekwi is an action that someone feels cold. So it's more about how you feel. So I feel cold ni sesekwi. 
This is also not that the weather outside is cold. That's a different word. That's tlaseseya. But here we're just talking about how you, a person is feeling, the action of someone feeling a certain way. Nisasekwi. Now the opposite of that is patsmiki. Patsmiki. Pats here is referring to the sweat that's coming out and miki to be dying of something, to suffer from something. So to literally be dying from sweating means you're hot. This is how you would say you're hot. You feel hot, you're sweaty. It's the same word in the Huasteca. Ni pats miki. This is not the weather is hot outside. Uh, this is I am hot. I am sweaty as a person. Ni pats miki. Ti pats miki. Pats miki. Chiwa, one of the most common words you're going to hear all in all Nahuatl varieties. Chiwa is to do something or to make something. You hear this in the question like, what are you doing? Tlen tik chiwa. Um, what is he doing? Tlen ki chiwa. I said ki in ki chiwa because I'm referring to him. Tlen ki chiwa. What is he doing? Tlen tik chiwa. What are you doing? So this is transitive. It has a ni and then the, it has a object. It needs an object here. So nik. Tlen tik chiwa. Tlen nik chiwa. Tlen ki chiwa. So this is to do something, to make something. Chia. To wait for someone. Chia. Chia. Okay, so nik chia would be I wait for him or I wait for her. Nik chia. Nimits chia. I wait for you. Nimits chia. Here, interestingly, if I want to say I'm just waiting, right? If I'm telling someone wait, just wait in general, I would say the mo, the reflexive, which means you to yourself. Shi mo chia. It means literally wait yourself. Um, but this is how you would say it in Nahuatl. Wait yourself. Make yourself wait. Shi mo chia. You're going to wait for yourself. Okay, so if I'm telling someone, wait, wait, I'm going to say, Shimochia. Okay, so, but if, so if I ask someone, what are you doing? Atlantic Chiwa. And they say, Nimochia. They say, I'm just waiting. Right? That's just, they're just saying, I'm just waiting. If I, if they respond though, they say, Nikchia uh, Nosiwa. That would mean, I'm waiting for my wife. Nikchia Nosiwa. So now I'm, I'm waiting for someone else. So see how they're a little bit different. If I have an object, I'm waiting for someone. If I do it to myself, I'm just saying I'm waiting. I'm waiting on myself. And past tense, this would be uh, I waited for her. I would say nikchishki. Nikchishki. Class two, so we're going to drop that a. Uh, and then you can't really say nikchishki. So that y will become a sh sound. Nikchishki will become nikchishki. Nikchishki. I waited for her. In the past. Kualani. Kualani. To be upset. Ni kualani. I get mad. Ti kualani. You get mad. Kualani. He gets mad. Now, kualani is to get mad. So if I'm trying to say I am mad right now, it this word would take tok. So I would say ni kualantok. I'm in a state of being mad. Ti kualantok. You are in a state of being mad. Kualantok. She's in a state of being mad. So that's a kualani or kualantok. Class two. So I was mad or I got mad. Nikualanki. I got mad. Nikualanki. This is also where we get the word for problem, which is kualantli. Now it's a thing, it's a noun. Kualantli. So whenever I want to tell someone, oh, there's no problem, uh, like no worries. When you tell someone, no worries, uh, don't worry about it. They say in the Huasteca, Ashonka kualantli. Ashonka, there isn't or there aren't, and kualantli, a problem. Okay? Ashonka kualantli. Mati, to know something. Mati, to know something. Okay, so it's always knowing something, so that's why this is going to be transitive. Nik mati, I know it. Nik mati, I know it. So this is knowing things, knowing how to do things. This is not really used for knowing people. Okay, so it's not for knowing people. That's a different word. That would be um, ishmati, which means to know someone's face. So if I say nimits ishmati, that means I know your face. I recognize you. I know who you are. 
It means all those things. Nikmati just means I know it. I know it. Nikmati. Mati can also give a sensation of feeling, right? You know something and you feel something. So it can kind of be interpreted as both. Nikmati. So Nikmati, I know it. Um, okay, so Nikmati in the past would be Nikmatki. Nikmatki. Okay, you can also use Mati here to mean to know how to do something. So the word how, right? No is Mati. How is Kenihki or Ken. So I could say, I know how to run. Nikmati Ken Nimotlalos. I know how to run. A bird, a bird would say, I know how to fly, right? So they'd say, Nikmati Ken Nipatlanis. I know how to fly. Okay, Nikmati Ken, I know how to plank. Niweli, I'm able to do something. I can do something. Niweli. Niweli. Um, so, um, yeah, this is just intransitive. So if you know how to do something, you just still say niweli. Okay, niweli nimotlalos. I am able to run. Niweli nikochis. I'm able to sleep. Okay, can I, uh, you say, can say kenaweli, which means yes, it's possible. It's kind of like uh, translated as si se puede in Spanish. Kenaweli, yes, it's possible. Not to be confused for the word welik, with the K at the end, welik, which in some varieties means delicious. So we've got two people here and I can ask you, Ahkia patsmiki. Ahkia patsmiki. Ahkia patsmiki. Now, Ahkia means who, and patsmiki means to be sweaty. So I'm asking here, who is sweaty? Who's hot? Ahkia patsmiki. Ahkia kalaki. Ahkia kalaki. Who's entering? Who's going in? Ahkia kalaki. Ahkia kalaki. Who's entering? Not the penguin. It's the, the human there. Masewali kalaki. The person's going in. Ahkia kichiwa chantekitl. Ahkia kichiwa chantekitl. So remember, chiwa is to do or make something. Ki means it. So who's doing it? Referring to the chantekitl. Who's doing the chantekitl? Tekitl does mean work, but I'm not talking about the penguin here. Chantekitl is homework. Literally the work from home. Chantekitl. Remember, no chan means my home. Mo chan, your home. And i chan, his or her home. The root there is just the word chan. Chantli. Ahkia Ashkimati Kanin Yowi. Ahkia Ashkimati Kanin Yowi. So Yowi means to go. It's the same thing as ya. So Niya, I go. Tiya, you go. And it becomes Yowi when I'm talking about him or her. So Kanin is where. And Ashkimati. Ash is not. Ki means it. And Mati. Who doesn't know? And the key means it. So who doesn't know it? Talking about where they're going. Who doesn't know where they're going? This is how you'd ask, who doesn't know where they're going? And it'd be uh, our guy here on the left, who seems to be a little bit lost. Ahkia mochilla. Ahkia mochilla. Do you remember here? It wouldn't be the siwapil. It would be here the siwatl or the shinola. Okay, the elder, the, the grown-up lady is the one who's doing mochilla, who's waiting. Tlatipatsmiki shikalaki mochan. Try and figure out what this means. Tlatipatsmiki Shikalaki Mochan. 
the hint here I'll give is the word tlan, which means if. So if tipatsmiki, tipatsmiki, she, which is the command, she kalaki mochan. If you're hot, go inside your home. If you're hot, go inside your home. Kanintinetschias. Kanintinetschias. So someone's asking this person, where are you going to wait for me? Okay, so some kids are going to go to play. And one of them tells the other kid, where are you going to wait for me? Kanin, where? Tinech, you to me. Chiyas, will wait. Where will you wait for me? And she responds, Nikan nimits chias. I'll wait for you here. Nikan nimits chias. Here, I to you will wait. Here, I'll wait for you. So we have Nika right here. The word for there is nopayo. Nopayo. Nopayo nimits chias. But I'll let y'all know. Nopayo changes a lot depending on what part of Mexico you're in. So some say nopayo, some say nopaya, some say ompa. In the central, you'll hear a lot of ompa. Ompa meaning over there. So they, they mean the same thing, but different varieties have a different word for it. So nopayo ni mitschias or ompa ni mitschias. So that means right there. This is uh, something that's close to both of you. Okay, so it's close to both of you, especially close to the other person who you're talking to. No payo, over there by you. No payo. It could be over there, not close to any of us. No payo. Um, but this would be um, still kind of close, not super far away, right? It's visible within sight. Now, if it's visible within sight, but very far away, we'll say nepa. Nepa. Nepa means way over there, way, way over there. Nepa. Nepa ni chias. I'll wait for you way over there. Neka would be for something way over there, but you can't see it, right? So if we're talking about another city, maybe something that's not within sight, I'll say, we'll say Neka. It could be also something um, in another house, right? If we're talking about some other place and it's not visible, you can also say Neka, right? Over there on the other side, because you can't see it. It's not that far away, but still you can't see it. So Neka, it'll say Neka. Neka ni chias. I'll wait for you over there. Okay, this is a big greeting when you're in the Huasteca. Uh, to elders, when you're walking around and um, they see you, the traditional thing is to tell them what you're doing okay so that's that's actually the greeting you don't say hi it's not saying um how are you doing top of the day good morning uh you're saying i'm going over there okay that's the tradition um it's almost like you're making yourself seem uh less suspicious and not because you're a foreigner um even if you know each other it this is the greeting um and pretty common around different parts of mexico they'll say something similar neka niya i'm going over there neka niya This guy is saying, No payo shinechchia. No payo shinechchia. This is the command. Shinech is do something to me. And the word is chia. Wait for me. Shinechchia. Wait for me over there. The word order is different from English, right? It's like we wouldn't say, Over there, wait for me. But this is how you'd say it in the Huasteca or in Nahuatl. Nikan ni mumachtis. Nikan ni mumachtis. Mumachtia. By the way, machtia is related to the word mati, which means to know. Mumachtia means to make yourself know. And that's how you say, I'm studying, to study. So I'm studying is, I'm causing myself to know. And so he's saying, here I'm going to study. I will study here. Nikan ni mumachtis. If he said... Nika ni mumachtia, he'd be talking about the present tense. I'm studying here right now. And if he says nika ni mumachtis, he's talking about the future. What's going to happen? All right. 
Now we're going to switch gears a little bit and look at some place endings. If you go in almost anywhere in Central Mexico, sometimes Southern Mexico, even Central America, and sometimes randomly in Northern Mexico, and sometimes randomly some random street names um, in the United States, they'll have an ending, uh, when they'll, have, they'll be a Nahuatl word. A Nahuatl word for a city or a town or a mountain or a valley. And so these all have similar patterns. They're all going to have a place ending at the end. So uh, you'll see very commonly Tlan. Tlan. Like for example, Siwat. In Spanish, they'll call it Siwatlan or Mazatlan or Tenochtitlan or Tlaxcala or Zapotlan. Okay, so all these Tlan endings mean can mean by or among or between or near. Um, the general way you can think of it is place of. Okay, so Siwatlan is place of women. Mazatlan, remember the pronunciation, Mazatlan, place of Mazatl or deer. Tenochtitlan place of the rocks and, and the uh, nochtli cactus fruit, or the rocky cactus fruit. Tlaxcalan, from Tlaxcali, tortilla, and, tlash, and tlan. But it, it becomes merged. Tlaxcaltlan becomes Tlaxcalan. So Tlaxcalan is place of tortillas. Zapotlan is place of the zapotl fruit. Zapotl is a common fruit in Mexico. It's kind of like an apple, but it's a native indigenous fruit. Uh, grows on trees over there. Called zapote in Spanish. Nonacastlan. This is the word that means next to me. So even prepositions have these endings. Nonacastlan, place of my ear. Another ending you'll see is co, like in Mexico. Or they'll call it in Huasteca, Mexico. Um, nomaco, on my hand. Nomaco, on my hand. Altepeco, in the city. In the city. Xochimilco, at the place of the Xochimili. Xochimili, which is the flower gardens. Xalixco, from Xali, sand. Ix, face, and co, place of or at. So it's at the surface of the sandy place. Atenco, uh, sometimes pronounced Atenno, if, the, if they kind of get merged into each other, uh, it'll become Atenno. You'll see Tenno a lot in the endings too. Okay, so the place next to the water, usually like a river, next to the river. And the preposition, no ishteno, the place in front of my eyelids, the place of my, in front of my eyes. So um, in front of me, that's how you'd say in front of me, my front place. Another one is pan. You'll see this. Um, pan can also be used like ipan, like on. That's the general word for on, like um, ipan, ipan no amos, on my book. Or I could just say pan no amos, on my book. There's an expression cocolistli in pan o wala. It means the sickness is coming onto them. So the sickness is coming onto them. We have Zapopan, which comes from actually Zapotl again. But instead of Zapotlan, this one is Zapopan, which means on the surface of or at the time of. We have the word Nahyopan, which means within four. And if you count today, so this means actually within three days, but it comes from the word from four. So it's kind of like within four days, depending on if you count today. Sometimes getting confused with pan is pa, which means toward or from. It's like in direction words. So when we're talking about north, east, west, and south, we should I should clear I should let you all know um, when we're talking about these words north, east, south, and west, they're not absolute. They're actually saying toward a certain place. Okay, so there's a place called Mictlan somewhere, and toward that place is the north. There's literally a, a town called Siwatlan in Guerrero. Um, like Siwatlanejo, um, and that's west of Mexico City. So they call that west, toward Siwatlan. They pick that direction. So it's, it's based on a finite place somewhere on Earth most of the time, not on absolutes for going, you can't go forever north, for example. 
um, Witztlanpa, towards Witztlan, possibly from Witztli, meaning a thorn. So maybe the thorny place is south. It could just be k at, as an ending. So Tepet, a hill, can be Tepek, on the hill. We have Chapol Tepek, on the grasshopper hill. Okay, Komik, on the Komit, on the jar or jug. Ilwikak, uh, on the sky or in the sky. And we have Ilwikat, which just means sky. Tlaltipaktli means the earth. Tlaltipak is uh, just on the earth. But actually, this last one actually comes from Ikpak. So that one actually doesn't apply to this list. Check out these real town names in Mexico. Now, with the pronunciation by the Spanish, it uh, got all fumbled up. Um, so I'll give you some hints. So Orizaba is actually Huitzilapan. Yeah, that's a big change, I know. Oaxaca uh, from Oaxaca. Uh, it used to be pronounced Oaxaca in Spanish, but then the sh sound changed into ha. Like Mexico changed to Mexico, to Mexico. Michoacan from Michoacan. Chiapas from Chiapan. Zacatecas, referring to the Zacateca tribe, um, who live in the city of Zacatlan. Xalapa from Xalapan. Tuxpan, actually from Tochpan. And they, they really fumbled that X into a X, into sounding like a Latin X, but uh, yeah, Tochpan. So look at the endings here. See if you could figure out some of the patterns we talked about. Sometimes even new ones. Uh, Michoacan ends in can, so we didn't actually get to that one. Chiapan, place of the chia. The, literally, the, we're talking about the chia, like the chia pets, that fruit, that seed. Zacatlan, place of Zacatl. Xalapan, place of Xali and Atl. Tochpan, from Tochtli, a rabbit. Washiacac is from a uh, washin, which is what we call guaje. It's an edible fruit pod that you eat off of trees. And then yakak, uh, from yakat, meaning your nose. So, um, yeah, so we got that. And Huitzilapan from Huitzilin, a hummingbird, and at water, and pan, place. So now it's up to you. You have to then uh, combine those then together. Okay, there's a lot more endings, but that's just some of the patterns you can look out for. Um, so see if you find any other ones, and if you do, feel free to comment them down below. Um, and hope you stick around for all of this season's episodes, and we're going to learn a lot more now. Las camate.